Hi everyone, let's take a look at problem 924A, which deals with flexible budgeting and overhead performance. You have, you have been hired by Seward Corporation, the manufacturer of a revolutionary new garage door opening device. Now you can tell I'm just reading to the left here. And Sam Ballard, the president, has asked that you review the company's costing system and do what you can to help us get better control of our manufacturing overhead costs you find that the company has never used a flexible budget and you suggest that preparing a budget a flexible budget would be an excellent first step in overhead planning and control so after much effort and analysis you are able to determine the following cost formulas for the company's normal operating range of fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand machine hours each month alright so utilities two forty per machine hour maintenance a dollar twenty Per machine hour, plus there seems to be a 65,000 per month component. Machine setup is 50 cents. Indirect labor is a dollar 10 per machine hour, and there's a 210,000 looks like fixed cost component. And depreciation 60,000 a month. Okay, to show the president how it works, you've gathered the following actual manufacturing overhead data for the month of June. And in that month, the company worked 18,000 machine hours and produced 32,000 units. So we have all those costs uh, written down there. All right, let me slide down so we can continue to look at this. All right, the only variance um, in the fixed cost for the month was depreciation, which increased as a result of purchasing new equipment. It, it had planned on working 25,000 machine hours during June. Okay, they actually worked 18,000 machine hours and produced 32,000 units. That was given right here. All right, so prepare a flexible budget for the company in increments of 5,000 machine hours, and they give us the columns, right? So we're going to fill in this schedule that you see right down there, uh, right here to the left. Only I worked it off to the side, taking advantage of ex using Excel as a canvas. So now you can see the answer over to the right. And uh, let me work through how I came up with that. We, we jot in the, t the totals, right? And we, we had cost formulas that we came up with, $240, $1.20, $0.50, and $1.10. So if we sum all of those, we have a total variable cost component. Not that we necessarily use that. Then at 15,000 machine hours, we would multiply to come up with the, uh, the variable portion. So we're simply multiply. 15,000 times 240 and once we do that we can copy that over all of these other cells right and, and then everyone it will multiply the correct amount in this case 20,000 units times 50 cents and in this case 25,000 times a dollar ten and then of course the only other thing we need to do is uh, get the formatting to look consistent we don't need a dollar sign except on the top rows all right and then we can sum down and when we sum down, we come up with the right variable cost. Now, the fixed costs were given in the problem. Two of the costs had a fixed cost component. They were actually mixed cost, and one was a pure fixed cost. And I think that was the, the one was the depreciation of 60000 per month. So we jot in those fixed cost components that was given early on in the presentation. And they won't change regardless of the level of activity. So when we sum those, we're able to come up with the total fixed cost for the various levels of activity. They're all the same. And summing the variable and the fixed gives us our flexible budget. And that's the answer to part one. OK, now I've moved the screen so we can read requirement two, which says prepare an overhead performance report for the company for June. And they give us the, 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 the title. And we need to put in the budgeted machine hours and the actual machine hours. Um, and I believe the actual machine hours were 18,000. Um, uh, the budgeted machine hours were 18,000 as well. Um, at least in pre preparing the, the report, I'm going to base it on the actual 18,000 in budgeted machine hours. Okay? So let's take a look at this one now. All right, again, we've already come up with the cost formula from before, and the budget amounts come from what we just solved before. So we could copy this you know, from what we previously came up with. The only difference now is we're basing it on budget amount of $18,000. The 
fixed cost exactly the same as what we worked in requirement one and in requirement two we need to then come up with what the actual amounts were um, and I believe that information was provided we spent 42 six on utilities we spent maintenance uh, now maintenance is a little tricky maintenance they said we spent eight eighty eight thousand one hundred dollars but but there was a fixed cost component that we had determined to be sixty five thousand so we take the eighty one thousand eighty eight thousand one hundred dollars and subtract the sixty five thousand machine setup uh, I think that was given is ninety two hundred and indirect labor we had that same mixed cost component so we need to take out the fixed portion so they gave us two hundred twenty eight thousand one hundred we back out the 210 of the fixed component that we predetermined already was the fixed portion of indirect labor and when we do that um, well, I guess we could put a, a total down here I guess I haven't done that yet but we could and we jot, then jot in the fixed cost that we know uh, depreciation actually was 60,200 slightly different but the maintenance and indirect cost uh, the fixed cost were a mixed component we really can't separate how much of the change was due to variable and fixed but because we've done analysis that say there's a fixed cost component it's a better assumption to assume the fixed cost didn't change show the variance up top and when we do that we're able to come up with the total overhead variance and of course or the total overhead cost based on actual and then of course we just compute uh, spending or budget variance by comparing you know uh, the columns across actual versus variable and we can compute the various variances so overall we were um, favorable to the tune of four hundred dollars